people who told you that all of the predictions of what was happening now were wrong were actually right, but the people who said they were wrong are now claiming that this is what they knew was going to happen all along. And that's why blaming business is both pathetic and brilliant at exactly the same time. Because think about this for a minute. Let, let, let's, let's recall briefly Project Fear. Okay. Project Fear described labour shortages, possible threats to the supply chain of food. It described the possibility of empty shelves in supermarkets. It suggested under Operation Yellowhammer, which was the government's own research into it, they looked at the possibility of fuel supply being compromised uh, and, and big problems with things like farming, agriculture, slaughtering, veterinarian, butchery, all of the things that are now actually happening. This is incredible. And I, 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 I honestly, I'm in such a lovely place at the moment in my own head and heart that I've got no beef with you if you're still uh, committed to the idea that somehow it, it's all going swimmingly or that this was actually what you expected to happen. The point was, everybody who warned that this was going to happen was shouted down by the people who are now in power. I'll say that again because it's really important. Everybody who explained and predicted, from the governor of the Bank of England right through to the, to the head of most FTSE 100 companies and every prime minister this country has ever had, everybody who explained and predicted what is happening now was shouted down by the people now in power. So what do the people now in power do when the stuff they said was never going to happen starts happening? Well, this is where I really hope you can take me by the hand and lead me to a slightly less bleak analysis. They will claim the polar opposite. They will move effortlessly. They will move seamlessly. They will move shamelessly from insisting quite robustly, occasionally even, dare I say, rudely, from insisting that all of these predictions were ridiculous, all of these Project Fear explanations were scaremongering nonsense, all of these people were miserable Ramonas, and now, almost before your very eyes, they're saying, no, 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 that they were right all along. But this was always part of our plan. Take a moment to let that sink in. That's what they're doing to you now, these people, led by Boris Johnson, Jacob Rees-Mogg and the rest of them. Getting away with it? not properly held to account for it, barely even questioned about it. They are going from claiming it was all a load of scaremongering Ramona Project Fear nonsense to claiming that everybody knew that this was going to happen. The people that we derided and dismissed and denied, oh, of course they were right all along. Everybody knew that this was always going to happen and that was the plan. And if businesses aren't ready for it, if businesses aren't ready to deal with all the things that we told businesses were not going to happen, then that is the fault of businesses. They should have known we were wrong. That's the message from government. Right now, today, 10.15, in front of you, the message from government to British businesses facing unprecedented and entirely unnecessary problems caused entirely by the project uh, that propelled Boris Johnson into Downing Street. The message that Downing Street is giving those businesses is it's your fault for not being ready to deal with all the things that we told you wouldn't happen.